I posted a video about solving the license issues in Adobe Photoshop and so many people ask me questions. If you open Adobe Photoshop then it crashes down and it asks you for the license as you can see this screen and after a few seconds it will ask you to register and get the license. This is the problem with Adobe Photoshop. So many people are you know facing this one and not only Photoshop it is for the Premiere Pro. If you are watching this video then this will solve your problems no matter you are using Premiere Pro or Photoshop error will come again. all right so here is the error and if i click this one it will bring me to the browser and i close the browser and adobe photoshop is closed i guided you through the multiple procedures and in this video there will be one particular method that's going to definitely solve your problem so stay tuned the first method is just go to your library and here you locate application support and see adobe folder and if there are multiple adobe software you're using that is just because of the encoders and uh, allowed option it is connected to the internet and that is actually coming back again and again so you can delete this folder as then empty your trash it might solve your problem if it doesn't solve then just go to your library again Again, and here you need to search Adobe GCC file GCC because that is the genuine certificate popping up again and again this file in my computer is not available but if your computer is not searching then just go to your setting in the setting make sure that you are here in the Syrian spotlight and check mark all these options go to spotlight the mount and then unmount this uh, library folder here because that will you know bring your searches back to the normal and now you just simply minus this one and it will mount and unmount so that you will be able to search now if i just click on uh, adobe it will search so many files there these are the adobe files before it was not searching so if there is any adobe gcc file that is genuine certificate then just hit delete button and you are good to go third method is just go to your finder and then go to go option then go to folder and here you search this directory library application support and you will find uh, i'm gonna make it thumbnail you will find this adobe folder just go open this one and see if there is any file extension that is connected to the internet then just simply delete and yes there is one thing i didn't mention in the start if you are unable to install the software then go to privacy and security and you know check this one anywhere because that will allow you to install the third party apps okay the fourth solution is if the adobe is not there that is crashing down then just go to your setting and then network and uh, in the firewall just go to options and if there is any adobe extension here you just click and block that incoming connection that will resolve your problem all right so if that doesn't help as well just go to your application here in the finder applications and here you go to the top here will be adobe photoshop just double click and now right click and show package content now you will go to content now plugins required in the required section you just go there filters there are so many of these one plugin you see everyone is plugging make sure you are not deleting any js file just delete all these one you don't need it will not crash your adobe and make sure that you have the backup of adobe software so that if there is anything happening bad you can just go back and reinstall from the backup make sure on your hard drive you have a backup all right so next step is go to application go to utility here you will find adobe this is installer you can also delete this one as well and there will be another folder here if there is a folder in utility any plugin anything then you can delete that folder as well so i'm gonna just delete this one I'll give you a passcode that's it go to trash empty now if the problem is still there you can you know fix it as a last solution that's gonna be the perfect solution for you guys if there is no other solution right now you can see that the error message is not coming back it's not popping up but in case it pops up then there is a solution and that is just go to your wi-fi disconnect your wi-fi open this one and make sure you are not connected any sort of hotspot ethernet or wi-fi you are totally offline so that you can use to so disconnect your macbook from the internet and now go create anything you want like i create a thumbnail that's gonna work unless i connect to the internet 
now if you reconnect to the internet as well the error message is not coming there and if there is still some problem you can restart your macbook and it's gonna work and if there is a problem you just like disconnect the internet it's gonna be fine all right and if you didn't subscribe to this youtube channel then consider subscribing i'll bring a lot of stuff about video editing and other cool features for you guys i'll see you in the next one bye